Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Came One. Uh, I'm back with another sample breakdown. Uh, it's been a while since I uploaded a video. I've just been really busy, uh, just working, taking care of projects, and I haven't had time to edit a video and to create new content. So I'm back now with something new, and I hope these guys are enjoy it. Uh, we're gonna be breaking down a sample, one of my favorites off of the last uh, pack called Soluciones Volume One. Uh, this sample was something that uh, was a result of the inspiration that I got after getting the OV6 uh, synthesizer. A good friend of mine who owns a coffee shop here in town, uh, who was also a synth head, uh, I, his plan was either to get a new piece of gear or to move, or he just needed cash, so he gave me a really good deal on the OV6, and I took advantage of it, jumped on in, I bought it, I, and I added it to the rig. And right now it's sitting underneath the uh, profit, and yeah, I'm I'm loving it. It sounds amazing, and this is uh, a result of me playing with the synth and creating a patch with it. So I guess we can start with uh, the synth patch that I actually created with the OV6, which is this joint right here. It's like a really weird like pad slash lead uh, patch that I made and it's kind of like uh, electric, like electrically or like electric key. I, I really don't even know how to describe it. It's just, it's weird and it has a really nice character to it. And originally it was pitched um, up. It was, it was at, at, at a higher pitch. It just sounds like to me like electricity and spacey vibes, but Playing with the pitch wheel, I shot it down and it ended up sounding like this. It just had like a more full sound. And on top of that, played around with uh, some spring reverb. I love springs. This plugin is this shit. Like I swear by this one as well. This one's amazing. A lot of good, uh, got uh, different presets for reverb, spring reverb. Uh, some delays and you know, it's a lot of fun to play with so I added that on top uh, the usual EQ uh, the Valhalla room and It just it was a good base. It was a really good starting point for this sample So I had that going and I knew right away. I wanted to incorporate the roads so ended up playing this section So yeah, that was, it's it's pretty straightforward. It's really simple. Um, you know, as many of you know, I have I have a real Fender Rhodes, and I don't I don't work with MIDI. I love recording raw audio straight from the Rhodes into FL, and I do that for the majority of my samples. So I knew for a fact I wanted like that tone in there, and just to kind of spice it up a little bit and not have it be so dry, I added uh, reels, uh, the, the the fruity EQ, and again the Bahala Room. I can show you what that sounds like dry actually. It's not that big of a difference, but to me it just adds more space and vintage feel with these with these three effects. And then for another small section of the sample, just to add a little bit of variation, I ended up taking a similar uh, like a similar section from the previous, but then pitching it up. And with these same effects, it just kind of gave it like this really creepy vibe. And I can play that for you right now. So like the theme of this sample is pitch. Play with the pitch, whether you're going high or low, it adds, it just adds like a different tone to an otherwise boring instrument or something that already sounds good, but you just want to take it to the next level or just try something fresh. Uh, so with the roads, I, I, I do this often actually, where I take uh, the dry roads uh, and I, I pitch it up. I don't know what it does, but it just, it gives it like a, like a natural wobble because, you know, like the real Fender Rhodes, it's hitting like those uh, mechanics inside of the actual instrument. So when you pitch it up, it just kind of like really highlights that character. So I just did it for that small section. And uh, 
Next part is the OB6 uh, base. And you know, if you notice the labeling is a little weird, it's like MOOC sub 37. That's just the name of the channel, but this is, this is from the OB6. And I'll play that for you now. Just like that nasty growl. The OB6 is, uh, it's it's a beast. That low end is ridiculous. That character, it's very aggressive. So it was, you know, it was a, a natural go to for the bass section. And for the bass, let's see what I did. Okay, uh, I added uh, what is that? Centaurus from what company makes this? Uh, these guys will recognize the logo. It's this plugin. I don't use it that often, but I decided to switch it up a little bit. I pulled it up, threw it on. I used the, uh, just like a light chorus preset, added the tell chorus, EQ, and Decimort. And Decimort for me, especially when I have a lot of effects and it increases like the gain of the instrument, I throw this at the tail end of the chain because it's just kind of like a, it acts kind of like a hard limiter, like a hard wall limiter to just kind of box everything in. And it adds like this noise and distortion, especially for bass or anything like a lead. Um, and it helps it stand out in the mix and not be so overpowering. And it just kind of controls it a little bit. I can play, f I can play the bass dry so that we get like a rough idea of what that sounds like. You'll notice right away that it's just a lot weaker, but then with the effects it sounds like it's distorting it's real gritty and grimy but it's it still fits well in the mix so that's the bass and then let's move on to this section right here these little these little parts oh gotta turn that channel on So these were little details that I added in just to kind of break up the repetitive, the repetitiveness of, of the sample. And it's simply the Prophet Ref 2 playing with uh, a pad preset and playing with the pitch wheel. Basically, I had the chord ready in my hand. And before I played it, I had the pitch wheel all the way down with my left hand. So right at the same time that I played the chord, I let the pitch wheel or the, the pitch wheel go. So when I play, the pitch wheel rides up, so it gives it kind of like a manual glide effect. And I, I, I do that often just to kind of, you know, make the plane more natural feeling and to make it less boring. So you'll, you'll notice that the attack is just kind of like it's riding up. Almost like it's dragging to get to its natural or to, to like its peak. And uh, for this, oh yeah, I kept it simple. EQ and that Springs uh, plugin I mentioned earlier. I think without it, it sounds pretty similar. Uh, the Prophet Ref 2 has onboard effects, so I think it already had uh, reverb on it. But I just added a little bit of Spring to it and EQ. Yeah. What do we got so far? Let's see. So yeah, there's that. And then the last part of this sample are these stabs that kind of ride out throughout the entire sample to kind of give it like that, um, I guess more of like a rhythm kind of adds like a percussive element to it, but it's still, you know, still a keyboard. And let's see, the way I did this was, it was the Fender Rhodes. And all I'm doing there is I'm hitting the, the different chords and hitting those stabs. Edit reverb. And those just kind of ride out through the entire sample. I can play everything together.
straightforward nothing too complicated too crazy hope you guys were able to learn something you know pick up some new plugins maybe different methods of editing sounds whatever you got from it i hope you find it useful um on that note i want to remind you guys that my new sample pack soluciones volume one is officially out it's been out for the past few days it's a new series that i'm doing that is focusing mainly on like synth driven spacey dreamscapes and you know just gritty synth shit. Uh, you know, I, that's a, that's I, my ideal type of sample to make, and I want to kind of house that sound into a series. And I'm also working with an illustrator named Yonil, um, who's been helping me with the cover art, doing amazing illustrations. You know, uh, he's working on volume two and eventually volume three, four, and five, and forever how long I decide to take this. But um, look, look out for volume two, it's coming soon. But for now, volume one is available as well as the rest of my sample packs with all the different bundles. Visit the link in my bio to check out the store and comment what you liked about the video, what you want to see next. Uh, make sure to subscribe, share this shit with your other producer homies, and um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.